Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So today I've got a very important video for those of you interested in getting the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 or the Galaxy Book 360, the non-pro version, or for those of you that already have it. So since day one, since the early goings, we've all been told that the HDMI port, which is right down here on the machine, is a 1.4 port. So the problem with that is HDMI 1.4 does not support 4K 60 Hertz. Like here, we can go ahead and ask Google. Does HDMI 1.4 support 4K 60 Hertz? You can do 4K at 24, 25, or 30 Hertz with HDMI 1.4, but the interface does not provide enough bandwidth for 4K at 60 Hertz. To get enough bandwidth at 4K 60 Hertz, you need HDMI 2.0 or better. So a long time ago, there used to be a series of cards called the NVIDIA Kepler cards, and they would offer 4K at 120 Hertz at the sacrifice of doing chroma subsampling at 420 instead of the full 444, or even minimizing it down to 442 or 422. And it was only available on that one set of graphics cards. Since then, anything else that's utilized 1.4, as far as the HDMI port goes, has not supported 4K 60 Hertz. So as I mentioned, right from the start, we were told this is 1.4. Right after I pre-ordered this, I had a viewer mention to me, hey, aren't you a little uh, disappointed that we're getting HDMI 1.4? And I was like, what? HDMI 1.4 in 2023? You have got to be kidding me. Like I didn't even respond to his comment right away. I hopped online and started looking around. So I hopped on Reddit, on Sam Mobile, on GSM Arena, all these different sites, and I looked at some of the preliminary, like, you know, pre-order videos that were coming out for the Book 3 Pro 360. Every reviewer in every site that I was looking at showed HDMI 1.4. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I almost canceled my pre-order. I was so disappointed, because I just don't feel good about spending, well, I spent 1600 something at pre-order time, but now it's $1,899? for a machine with HDMI 1.4 in 2023? There's no flipping way. So, I mean, I was really upset about it actually. And then, but then I was calming myself down and I'm like, you know what? It's not the end of the world. I'll just go back to using my little USB-C to HDMI adapter here so I can get 4K 60, because I'm not doing 4K 30. I'm just not cool with that at all. I haven't done that in years. It's been a long time. But today I decided to go ahead and kind of test this out a little bit. So I hooked it up to my LG G2, which has no problem doing 4K at 120 Hertz. So I've got my HDMI cable here and I'm gonna test this out with you guys in person. All right, hi guys, how you doing? So I've got my HDMI cable here. This is from my Xbox Series X, which has no problem doing 4K at 120 Hertz. I do it all the time with it. Back here is my LG G2, capable of 4K 120 Hertz. Awesome TV, no problem uh, fulfilling our tests here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in real quick. Let's do that. Let me go ahead and fire on the TV. I'm just doing this all in real time with you guys. Let me switch over to HDMI 4, should be the port this is on. There it goes. Boom, we are there. All right, so as you can see here, we're synced up here and I have got the display set to duplicate on the TV instead of extend. Because do keep in mind, this is a 3K display, and if you choose to extend it out to your 4K display, you're gonna end up with black bars. So for this, I just chose to duplicate the display so we can fine tune the resolution for both the TV and the laptop independently. So on this uh, TV here, I got a really cool feature. I can press this green button like seven times. Let me do this real quick, whole bunch of times and it's gonna pop up that little window up there. Let me go over to the camera and I wanna zoom in with you guys, and I'm sorry if my lav mic is sounding a little weird while I move around here, but I wanna show you this. This LG panel reports back the exact data that it's receiving from the port. And if we go right here, 60 hertz, fixed, 3840 by 2160. 3840 by 2160 is 4K. All right, what I want to show you here, you'll see screen one is the laptop screen at 3K. You'll see screen two is a little bit bigger because we are spitting out a 4K resolution to it. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to highlight display two. So we're looking at the TV panel display properties instead of the laptop. Because remember, the laptop is 2880 by 1800, right? We can prove that out here real quick. Let me show you. Scroll down here. All right, there you go. 2880 by 1800, recommended setting. Let's scroll back up here. We're gonna select monitor two, which is the LG G2. All right, now we're gonna scroll back down. 
Now let's look at our options here. 3840 by 26, 2160 recommended. And look at this, we can go up one more. We can go up to widescreen 4K. But nonetheless, I don't have a widescreen panel. It's a regular 16 by nine TV. So we're gonna leave it at regular 4K. All right, we're gonna scroll down just a little bit further till we get to this advanced settings. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this, or click on this, I should say. I'm so used to doing the uh, phone videos and stuff, you know? Look at our display resolution, 60 Hertz. So for those of you looking to get the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360, have no fears. You're not gonna have to connect one of these, you know, USB-C to HDMI adapters. You will be able to do 4K 60 natively right out of your laptop without any special adapters. You just need a good HDMI cable. So hopefully this helps some of you out that have been interested in whether or not this actually had HDMI 1.4 or 2.0. So that's awesome news. If you have any questions or comments about today's video or suggestions for a future video, please drop them down in the comment section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.